guys and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is probably going to be one of my favourite Camp America videos that I've filmed and it's going to be a what's in my Camp America like makeup bag, toiletry bag, what little bits and bobs I'm taking relating to that. So I've had a few people message me just being like what would my makeup routine be like, will I wear lots of makeup, will I wear no makeup, like what should I bring and my, my response always is you don't wear a lot of makeup when you're at camp. It's you're so hot, you're always on the move. You're in and out of like the lake or the pool or just walking around camp and it's hot like you're there in the summer so it is warm so day to day you won't wear a lot of makeup but when it comes to the evenings and you've got time off you're going out for some drinks or for some food you want to make yourself look a little bit nice you want to put some makeup on and for my traveling as well after like i've got some good travel plans that if i'm going out for a really fancy meal or out to a club or anything like that i'm gonna want makeup to put on so this i've got laid out in front of me i'm pretty sure is just going to be everything i'll take now anyway i may do an updated one before summer if things have changed quite a lot i've bought new things or i've scrapped things that i've said in this video that i'm then not going to take so this is my initial what i'm taking my makeup bag video a lot of this is stuff that i use day to day now anyway this is my everyday like makeup stuff so unless that changes drastically before i go this is all going to be pretty similar anyway. I have also got some toiletry bits. This isn't going to be all of my toiletries. And for the purpose of this video, I've left lots of it in like its packaging stuff. I will take all of that stuff out of its packaging. And not everything is here. So this is just like an initial part one, shall we say, to be continued maybe if things change, like I've said. So I'm going to get straight into I think I'm going to do makeup first. I will probably take this like nice little makeup bag. This size is a perfect size. Again, take smaller, take bigger. It depends on how much stuff you've got. I really struggle to obviously give really specific answers because it's going to be so different for everyone. Like I don't wear a lot of makeup normally day to day. So my makeup routine isn't as much as someone else's might be or someone might wear none at all so it really will depend but a makeup bag this size is perfect this is what i'm going to take i don't know whether i want to get a new one or stick with this one i've had this makeup bag for so long i think i probably took this to camp before stay in pretty good condition i always find with makeup bags they go so horrible after like a few months and then i don't want to use it again but this one's staying actually really quite nice so yeah this is gonna be the makeup bag i take i've got like i said i've got everything laid out i'll go through <laughs> everything I'm hoping. I hope this video is not going to be really long, but you know me, I just ramble and that's what makes it long. So that's my makeup bag. I might talk through things and put it into the makeup bag so it's then out of the way. So do you know what? I think I'm going to start with makeup brushes. Oh, I'm dropping them all. This is probably the amount of makeup brushes that I'll take with me. Just one of each thing that you need. What I need to tell myself is that I remember how much nice little makeup things I wanted to buy from Target and Walmart and Sephora. And I've taken quite a lot of bits my first summer. So I didn't have as much room to bring things back. Things for some reason as well. I don't know if they still are. Like I said, I haven't been to America for, oh my God, three years. Like I know that's what it is, but why am I so shocked at that? Yeah, so three years. I don't know how much obviously things have changed in price, but there were so many little makeup brands like e.l.f was so cheap in America and a lot of the things I've got here are actually e.l.f products. So yeah, there is, obviously you will be able to buy stuff out there. So don't go with every little bit of makeup you own because you will want to buy some stuff out there. So yeah, I'll probably take three eyeshadow brushes. These are, which ones are these? I think these are the Morphe. Morphe and Sigma brushes, these are. These are just really nice standard makeup brushes. Yeah, not going to talk too much because I could ramble on about that for a very long time. Flat like bronzer brush. I use this for like my cream contour. So that's that one. Two like foundation, like base product brushes. This is just a Real Techniques one and this is an Anastasia one. This one's actually really nice. I love this brush. So two face makeup brushes. I keep wanting to explain it. Like you, I'm showing you, you know what these are. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with any of it. Two like little blush brushes. This is one that I use for my cream blush. And then this is just one that I use for like powder blush. Two fluffy brushes, bronzers you know the drill and then just an extra brush for good luck because why not just like i say you'll know what you'll need to take you'll know what you use i don't use any like i have a lot more makeup brushes than that but i know that i don't need five foundation brushes so just be sensible you know you'll know what you need to take right so next i'm going to talk about moisturizers and i think i've talked about this in some of the videos moisturizer is going to be your best friend at camp moisturize with an spf in ideally because if you're like me my first summer i was just lathering myself in moisturizer completely forgetting that it didn't have spf in and burning my face so this i think i spoke about in one of my other videos i've got hair all over me this is honestly my holy grail product especially at camp it's the avon like tinted moisturizing day cream it's got spf 20 in and i don't know what this stuff does but it just makes your skin look so glowy 
so i don't i just don't even know how to describe it but this is like three pound it used to be three pound actually i think it's five pound now but i will take a couple of these with me to camp because they're so nice to wear just this on my skin like i will literally wear this and not need to put anything else on my skin and it just gives you like a glowy like it's not a tan but it kind of is i don't know how i don't know how to explain it but my skin like my face skin doesn't tan very well the rest of me goes really quite brown but my face doesn't tan so i always needed something that was going to keep my face the same shade as the rest of me so i found that this was perfect and this is honestly my best friend my best friend at camp right two other things i'm going to take i think i showed this in my last shopping haul video and this is just a simple radiance booster this has got an spf 30 in and this is like a good like uv protection and then just like a brightening serum this is just an asda's own one and I really quite like this one. But yeah, whatever go-to skincare products that work for you, take those because skincare is going to be more what you use opposed to your makeup. Your makeup and stuff is going to be more just for like little day-to-day, -day, like if you want to put a bit of bronzer, a bit of blush on, but then you'll use your makeup for nights off. But day-to-day, -day, it's mostly going to be like moisturised and like creamy, like glowy products. If that's what you're into, obviously, like I say, everything's going to be different for everyone. So I literally know some people at camp that like to obviously get up a bit earlier, put like a bit more makeup on. Some people just didn't want to do that. They rolled out of bed with nothing on at all. No skincare, no moisturiser, nothing. It's just completely personal preference. This is just what I'm going to be taking with me. <gasps> so excited. It's literally... Oh, I wanted to say as well at the start, if you've been watching my previous videos, you'll know that I actually had my visa approved um, two days ago from when I'm filming this, but this video won't go out for maybe like a week, I think. And I had an email this morning saying that it was ready, like now. So it's left the embassy and it's on the way to the courier service. It's on the way to the like DPD collection place. So I can go and fetch it tomorrow. Not going to go tomorrow because I can't really fit a trip to Manchester in early this early on in the week. But at least that's all sorted and I'll have it back. That's so quick. That's the quickest it's ever been. So I had a lot of people message me thinking, oh, I've got a holiday booked. What if it's not back? Um, and I go to Ibiza in three weeks and I wasn't worried because... It hasn't taken any longer than a week before. But you know, when you're constantly like, oh, like, what if something goes wrong? What if it's not there? But the fact that it's going to be there tomorrow is amazing. It's so nice to hear. So, sorry, quick little side note. Um, next I'm going to talk about is foundation. And again, this is going to be completely whatever kind of foundation you use, what's good for your skin. But I like quite a lightweight foundation. Foundation is one of the makeup things I really, really struggle with. And it never sits nice on my face. And sometimes I'll get ready and I'll just hate how it looks. That's why I think I prefer wearing more like moisturizer and cream products i don't really like wearing foundation because like i say it just doesn't sit well on my face i just don't think i've found the right foundation but one that i do really like is the ordinary one and i think i bought this from like debenhams before it closed down well, not debenhams or house of friends i can't remember um but this is a really nice like lightweight foundation um it says it's high coverage but it's not it's quite sheer but i quite like that it just kind of like evens out your skin tone doesn't put too much on my skin i think what i don't like about foundations is when i can feel it sitting quite heavy and obviously at camp you don't want anything that feels heavy on your skin because it's hot it's just going to slide off your face so it's just anything lightweight that you feel quite like your skin can actually breathe in and then my two favorite foundations are the nars foundations now my friend molly gave me this one and this one's a little bit dark at the moment so this will probably be a good one to wear like the end of the, at the end of the summer when I'm traveling. This is the natural radiant one and this is the sheer glow. Sheer glow is for me a nicer consistency foundation because it's a lot thinner. It's not as thick, like this is quite a thick foundation. Um, but like I say, for nights when we're going out, I wanna get a little bit more glammed up. This is a perfect foundation when I'm nice and tanned as well. But no, I'll probably take these three. I think. No, me, I'll probably get there and wanna buy new foundations anyway. So, oh, I forgot to talk about a moisturizer actually this as well i absolutely love this product and it's actually a primer i don't normally use it as a primer because like i say i don't really put much makeup on top of it but it's an amazing like glow moisturizer thing let me put a little bit on my hand so you can see it this is honestly such a nice product and it's like really lightweight but just leaves like a really nice like glowy like sheen it's so pretty and i use that with the avon moisturizer like combined and it's just a really nice just i just love it so yeah that's one of my favourites that I'll be taking to camp as well. Now, this is going to be completely personal preference. I like to take one of these just more from, like I say, more from my face because my face doesn't tan. And it's just a Saint Tropez, like instant, what actually is this? Instant tan. And it's only in the shade medium. And it's like a wash off one. So it's not going to actually like stain your skin. It's not like a fake tan. So I really quite like this because it means I can put it on with a makeup brush if I need to feel a little bit more tanned on my face and it then just washes straight off like if you get a wipe to it it comes straight off it's not like 
like I say, a fake tan that actually stays on your skin. So yeah, these are really, really nice actually. And the smell of this just reminds me of something. I just got some on my nose. <laughs> Yeah, reminds me of something. It smells like sun cream. I don't know why. Right, so on to brows. Let's talk brows. So I am actually hoping to get my brows laminated in a few weeks. And then I would... I don't know how often you need to have your brows laminated, whether I would then have to go and have them done before camp. But at the moment, I just use soap on my brows. Now, please excuse the really disgusting, dirty looking soap. But this soap is honestly the best soap I've used on my brows. And it's the Locatane. I don't know if that's how you say it. Just their like standard soap and i've used the pear soap i've tried a lot of different soaps and they always leave a strange like residue on my brows so this i found is amazing so this with like a wet spoolie run it through your brows is a lifesaver so i'll probably take this as well anyway then i'll also take my anastasia dip brow this has literally lasted me i don't know how i'm really not sure how often you're supposed to like swap these things out but i've had this for a very long time and i've like barely used any of it it's literally nearly still full so i don't know how i've managed that but and then i'll take a few spoolies as well i don't know if i've mentioned this in any of my videos but i am actually a lash tech so i'm wanting to take some of my lash stuff with me to camp not to do my own because i don't trust myself to try and do my own but i've had a few of my friends ask if i'll do lashes at camp but I don't know how it works insurance wise obviously i've got an insurance policy that covers me here to do lashes which isn't it doesn't extend obviously to doing it overseas so i'd be a bit worried about doing it obviously i need insurance to do it but i don't know why i was talking about that from a lash spoolie i don't know but yeah basically we're saying because i'm a lash tech, i have tons of these so these are perfect to take and yeah just have a few of these brush through your brows brush through your lashes perfect right concealer i am loving the elf camo concealer at the moment again this is a really nice like lightweight concealer i've used i think it's the tart shape tape that i've used before and it's such a heavy like cakey concealer and again i think i just haven't found the right products for me that work on my skin because that's way too heavy this is really nice though so yeah this is in the shade light sand if anyone is wondering and then this is really gross this is like i need a new one of these but i haven't got a new one so like i still want to show you even though it's like there's nothing in it it's the i think it's the maybelline a what's it called age erase rewind something it's the one with the little like spongy thing on the top um that looks really gross yeah this is in the shade tan i'm pretty sure and i use this as a cream contour i do want to buy some refi products before i go because my friend Centinia actually got sent a load of stuff from Refi a few months ago, I think. And she actually used the products on me when she did my makeup. And my skin has never looked better. So that's one thing that I probably will purchase before going to camp is some products from Refi. Maybe their brow stuff, but definitely their cream, like blush and bronzer. Because honestly, my skin looks insane. But these are really, really nice as well. These in the concealers are good as well. I just like the applicator. And these are really good to use on the go. Like, very quick and easy. And then cream blush. I am loving this e.l.f. putty blush. I'm not going to show you the inside because it's actually disgusting. Because I use a makeup brush to dip in and then put it onto my cheeks. And like bits of the brush are just like, it just doesn't look nice. But I also use the, I think it's the Maybelline as well. The little blush in like the little squirty tube. Like the liquid blush. And well, is it liquid? No, it's like a cream blush. But it's so nice. And I've ran out of that. So this is my go-to at the moment. But I will probably get that blush as well. And like I say, for me, I just like glowy skin all year round. But especially in the summer. So anything that's like cream products, liquid products, I prefer over heavy like powder products, if that makes sense. And then I am going to go into some powder products now, actually. And these are two things from NARS. This got actually just demolished when I went to Bali and my perfume actually exploded all over it and it ruined the packaging, like absolutely ruined it. But this is the NARS blush in Orgasm and this is the best blush ever. And when I smell it, it's now half like, sm it smells like my perfume that leaked on it. And it just reminds me of when I went to Bali and it makes me quite depressed. And then the mini little Laguna bronzer. This is such a nice bronzer. Again, you'll want some like things like this, make you feel tan, little blush. I am definitely like a blush girl. Like I absolutely love blush. I would, I think that's one of my products. You know, when they say, if you could only use one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Mine would probably be blush. So I've gone through this quite quickly, actually. I'm quite impressed. One of the things I am going to say would be quite good to take. But again, this depends. Like I normally get my lashes done before I go to camp. I'm actually booked in to have my lashes done next week. I want to give my lashes a bit of a break because I've had lash extensions for quite a while. So I actually bought a eyelash serum and these are actually really nice to have at camp as well. Just because like I say, you want to be able to make sure you're taking care of your skin, your lashes, your hair, your brows, your nails. So lash serums are really nice and I'll have a lash serum just because obviously after a few weeks when my lashes then come off, I'll just go to a lash serum. 
make sure my lashes stay nice and long and healthy and these are really really nice some lip gloss i really don't wear anything other than gloss to be honest um, i wish i was like a, a lip liner lipstick kind of girl and when molly did my, my lips actually when i was in paris i loved how they looked but whenever i do them myself they just don't look nice so lip gloss some vaseline you know the drill i've literally said vaseline is like will be your best friend not even just vaseline like carmex nivea whatever kind of lip stuff but your lips do get very dry so make sure you're stocked up on things like that okay last thing i think we'll talk about makeup wise why do i feel like i've got anything oh i do also have i don't know where this has gone though and i'm really really sad i got for christmas the laura mercier like translucent setting powder and i've lost it like it's brand new in the box and a few weeks ago just decided to go missing so that is something i will take to camp when i find it if i find it i hope i do but yeah last thing i'll talk about is just some eyeshadow palettes and this morphe palette is one of my favorite palettes ever it's this one it's just got some nice like neutral brown shades but also some pinks as well and like i said when you're dressing up for different themed events it's nice to do fun makeup as well sometimes don't worry too much about taking things like this just for the purpose of being able to dress up and do things with funky makeup looks because your kids will come with so much of that stuff so don't take it for the sake of that this palette is the talking flirty palette and this is so nice i always forget how much i love this palette and then i'll also probably take my huda beauty palette i love this one as well like i say you do want to make yourself feel a bit put together when you're going out and especially when you're traveling after like but I'm not gonna lie you don't have a long time to get ready when you're at camp because i think i've mentioned this before say if your night off starts at 9 30 which is when mine starts you would be, say, back in the bunk from about nine o'clock. You've got, like, half an hour, if that, to get ready, to get dressed, to get showered if you haven't showered yet, to do your makeup, do your hair, everything else. So you are in a bit of a rush. You don't have time to sit down and do your makeup. So this is going to be more for, like, like I say, travelling days off. Right, so that's all my makeup done. I feel like I'm going to remember something really important. Or mascara, if you take mascara. Like I say, I don't really wear mascara because I normally have lash extensions, and if I don't have my lash extensions, I just don't wear anything. Because, again, I do, to be fair, the one mascara I do like is anything from Benefit. The Their Real Mascara and the Roller Lash Mascara, they're probably my go-tos, and if I do take one, I take one like that. Have I missed anything else out? I don't think so. Setting spray, maybe? I'll take my MAC Fix Plus, probably. Yeah. Anyway, this next bit is going to be my toiletry section, and this bag is honestly a godsend. I've taken this to camp with me every single summer, and any time I've gone travelling, like when I moved to Australia, Bali, like I took this with me. And this is from Ted Baker. I'm sure you'll be able to get other ones, though. I haven't seen any places do makeup bags like this, though. I'm going to zip the insides up first before I open it out and it all falls. So it literally zips up like a little handbag, but then opens out like a full little toiletry bag. And... This has always, like I say, been so ideal for me to take because it fits so much in here and it keeps it quite organised and away from everything else. So, like I say, I'll take my makeup in a bag like that. I might obviously take some of it in like a little, like I say, a plastic thing to go through the airport, but most of it will be in there. And then, like I say, the rest of my stuff is in here. So, in the bottom, I've got all of like my hair stuff. Again, this won't be everything I take. This is just the stuff that I've bought now that I wanted to put in here for the purpose of the video and to be able to talk through things and show you what I'm taking at the moment. And then up here, I'll take some toiletry bits. Like I've said, I'm not going to take big shampoos and conditioners. I'll probably take some of the little travel size bottles and then just buy when I get there. Like I said, with my hair, with having extensions as well, I don't have to wash my hair literally anywhere near as much as I used to. So I don't want to take big shampoo and conditioner bottles because I don't get through them here. So I definitely won't at camp. So yeah, I will talk through what I've got going on in here. I might start with the toiletries. And then, do I just keep it in here or should I take it out? I haven't got much in the toy one, so I'll talk through the toy one while it's just like hanging up here. So I've got a shower gel in the bottom. This is a Holler and Glow shower gel. And this I haven't actually used. You will know if you've watched one of the shopping haul videos. I now have like 14 shower gels because every time I go out, one of them's always on offer somewhere. Oh, that smells good. I'll take that one. And I buy it and now I've got a million of them. But no, I think I'm going to take this one. My, no, there's no point taking two. I was just going to say I'll take two, but there's really no point. We'll get to that anyway. Um, razor, I showed this in my last shopping haul video. This is my razor from Estrid and obsessed with these razors. Some toothpaste. Like I say, I will obviously take all this stuff out of the packaging. Just for the sake of me just showing it in this video, I wasn't going to unpackage everything. But I will do, like I said, I probably will redo a video similar to this before camp show you exactly what i've got packed and ready to go some toothbrushes i've said please take a few like three or four is perfect like this pack i think was a pound from home bargains for four like colgate toothbrushes 
So yeah, take a few because they get a little bit gross. Like you would normally swap your toothbrushes out at home anyway. So take a few with you. That's all I've got in there for toiletries. What other toiletries would I take? This is when I literally have no idea. But yeah, like I said, this video, I wanted more to be makeup and some hair care bits. So toiletries will probably need to be a separate thing anyway. But gives you an idea of what things you can start buying now. Because that's what I've had loads of people ask is like, is it too early to start buying? Like, when should I start shopping? And honestly, gradually shopping for camp is so much better. Because what I did my first summer is just like write a big list. And then I went out and bought it all in one go. And it's a little bit more stressful that way because you're trying to get so much and you're worried you might forget something. And it also costs a lot more. Like, I know you pay the same amount, but if it's spread out over a while, it doesn't feel like you've spent as much. So yeah, let's go on to hair stuff. Honestly, this bag is literally the best. It keeps everything so nice and organized. And I just know that obviously this side is all my hair stuff and this side is all my toiletries. And I'll keep this bag like this at camp. In the showers, again, this will be completely different for other people, but in the showers, we have like, our own little section on like the cabinet like the cupboards on the wall so it's like little shelves all the way along the wall and you've got like little sections for each person's stuff and you can get little shower caddies which all of my kids come to camp with and they're like little plastic caddy things that you put all like your shampoo conditioner shower gel hairbrush stuff in there and you can just then pick it up and take it straight into the shower i think i've got one at camp that i left there before I think, but I'll keep this just on my shelf in the um, in the bathroom, just so that I know I can get to everything nice and easily. So first thing, again, I showed this in my shopping haul video, and this is the Colab Dry Shampoo. I have actually used this, and I don't want to use it anymore because I want to save this for camp because, oh my God, it smells so good as well. It's passion fruit, and anything passion fruit just reminds me of having a cocktail on holiday. And this is really, really nice. So dry shampoo is a must because, like I say, you don't always want to do like a full hair care hair wash routine in the shower. My showers at camp are a decent size, but they're not big. So the shower is set up you're used to at home where you can obviously like have all your, sh your hair care stuff out. You can take your time doing your hair and stuff. It's just not how it works at camp. So dry shampoo is gonna be your best friend because when your hair's feeling a little bit greasy, get some dry shampoo in it and then just wash it whenever you get a proper chance to. So this is, this is really nice actually. This is the Lee Stafford heat protection mist and heat protection is, you really need some heat protection. Like I've said before though, you obviously don't have the opportunity as much to straighten and curl your hair and do things like that. But for when you do, you need some heat protectant because like I said, the being at camp and in the sun and in and out of like water and the lake and the pool, your hair does get quite dry. So any, whatever is your hair care go-to products, like I'm gonna take my Olaplex as well, which is actually in the bathroom, but that is one thing I'll take. Oils, like hair oils are really nice to have. Um, some argan oil, I've just got a little bottle of argan oil and some hair masks. These are things that I haven't got yet, but it's definitely things that I'll take with me. But yeah, you wanna be able to take care of your hair because it does get dry. Like my hair feels dry now and I'm literally, it's March and it's in the UK. So yeah, I need to make sure I've got some nice things as well that I'll use. Next up is just like some little bits and bobs. This has got some hair grips and I've got some more grips in here, but some like, little clips as well. And then the little elasticated, like hair ties um, that you normally just put at the ends of your hair in like French plaits or something. These are a must, especially when, like I say, when you wanna dress up and do some like funky hairstyles, just normal hairstyles, you need stuff like this. So those are a must. You can get these from literally from Primark. Oh, I think these were from Superdrug actually. Superdrug have got some really nice hair accessories. So I'll probably go back there to get some stuff for that. Next up, I've spoke about this as well and it's a bit random that it's in this section of my bag, but some glitter. Obviously this can be used in your hair as well so I can kind of like make it, that's why it's in here. But glitter, if you've got any little random things like this, it's so fun to have. And I've mentioned before, your campers will absolutely love you if you've got glitter. I remember taking my glitter out my first summer at camp and everyone's like, oh my God you are the best person ever. Because glitter's just so fun, especially in the summer when it's really warm, it's really sunny, putting some glitter on you, it just feels really nice. But yeah, glitter in your hair, glitter on your face, glitter on your body, it's just a bit of fun. Um, and like you say, you'll do a lot of fancy dress things where glitter comes in handy. So it's a nice little thing to have. So next up, got some hair bubbles. You will need a lot of hair bubbles because for some reason, hair bubbles just go missing. They go missing normally. So you can only imagine how quickly they go missing when you're living in a bunk with a lot of other people, a lot of people at camp, they just go missing. So stock up on hair bubbles. Again, you'll be able to buy loads of these at Walmart anyway. So don't go overboard because you will be able to top up if you need. Scrunchies, I've got loads of scrunchies somewhere, but honestly, these are the best at camp. I prefer using scrunchies to hair bubbles. Like even now, I've got my hair in a little half up and there's, you can't really see it, there's a little scrunchie in there opposed to a hair bubble. I will take more hair bubbles really to do other people's hair with. Like I've mentioned before, I can French braid, so 
if you if you French braid and you enjoy French braiding, tell everyone. If you don't want to spend your whole summer doing French braids, keep it to yourself. Because I remember I wore like my hair in French braids one day and everyone was like, oh my God, can you do them on me? And I'd never been able to do French braids on anyone else. I couldn't do them. I could only do them on myself. And I tried it once and I was like, oh, I was like, I'm quite good at this. And then I used to have like a line of kids in the morning who wanted me to French braid their hair. So it can be a little bit crazy, but yeah, they're ideal to have, like I say, when you do other people's hair as well. For me personally, I'll just use scrunchies. Primark, you can get like four packs of scrunchies and they're really nice scrunchies. Some big hair, like claw clips as well. I did mean to bring them in, they're in the other room. I think I showed them in my last video, actually, my shopping haul video. And they've just bought like, some really nice colours, Primark have, but they're nice as well. Just get your hair up and out your face because like I say, it does get hot. Do get sweaty, so you want something that's going to be able to get your hair out of the way. Right, that's all I've got actually, hair care wise, in my little bag there. Again, doing this video, I've realised I will take a lot more to camp with me. So we'll probably do an updated one in a couple of months. I can't believe I can actually say that I'm going to camp in. Wait, wait, I'll be, I'll be at camp. Like the campers will be at camp in three months, which is insane. And I think I'm going to fly out to camp in about two and a bit months. <gasps> Exciting. So yeah, last thing I'm just going to talk about is. The goodies my cellar water and some cotton pads i did say in my last video i'm going to take some wipes as well but i don't really like using wipes on my face unless they're like quite good wipes i find the cheaper ones they just really irritate my skin so my cellar water and some cotton pads i won't take all of these probably i'll take a few in this little bag and then just stock up as and when i need and again i won't take my cellar water this size i'll just probably put it into a smaller little bottle but yeah Keeping your skin nice and clean. Make sure you keep up with obviously like your skincare if that's what you do normally. Like I say, you just you do sometimes just feel dirty because a lot of the times you're out and about, you're just walking around. You are living in the middle of nowhere sometimes. So especially if you go and do like things like outdoor adventure and you're right in the woods, like you do feel dirty and you get dirty. So just make sure you've got things to make you feel clean make you feel fresh and all good to go. Last thing as well I'm going to talk about is some perfume. I'm going to take a few different perfumes with me, but also some like body spray, like body mists. The Victoria's Secret ones are really nice. Just, especially you don't want to use your nice fancy perfume just day to day. You want something you just spray on. So you're smelling nice, but you can save your perfumes for the nights off. But yeah, I'll probably just put my nice perfumes into the little like atomizer spray bottles. I probably won't take my big perfume bottles like my perfume I'm loving at the moment is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And if you know what that is, it comes in the strangest bottle so i wouldn't want to take that bottle with me it comes in like a high heel like a massive shoe bottle and it's so pretty but i wouldn't want it to get broken or anything else so we'll probably just take a few different perfumes in some little spray bottles and i'll be good to go yeah so i feel like that's everything actually i have been recording for 35 minutes i always do this i get to the end of the video i'm like oh have i really spoken about much and i look at how long i've been recording for and i'm like yes i've been speaking for a very long time so the weather is actually so nice today i think we're just going to sit outside read a book and get this video edited. So yeah, hope this has been helpful and giving you a bit of an insight on what kind of makeup toiletry bits you can take to camp. Again, personal preference, take whatever you feel like you need to take. I do have a lot of people ask me for like specific things like, oh, should I take this, should I take that? And honestly, it's going to depend completely on what you like using. I don't wanna to say to some people, all oh, like, make sure you take this. If you don't use it normally, it's something you don't need to use. So yeah, play it by ear. You'll obviously know what kind of things you use. It's gonna be your day to day essentials what you'll take with you to camp and you can always buy stuff out there don't overpack like i've said on things that you can buy and get very easily over there because that's my plan to go straight to walmart and target and stock up on some goodies so yeah i also wanted to say a massive massive thank you to everyone that's like subscribed liked or commented on any of my videos because my channel is growing so quickly and i'm so close to a thousand subscribers and i'm just it just makes me so emotional. I've done this before. I'm not going to talk about how happy and thankful I am for every single one of you. But no, thank you so much for all the love and support and all the lovely comments and messages I get just from people saying how much I've given them the confidence to just go to camp, put the application in and have the summer of a lifetime. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.